First, we're going to start by removing the PA1 thread filter. You turn it counterclockwise. Once you get this done, we move on to the actual filter adapter, which is a gray component here. Again, you turn about a quarter counterclockwise. As you can tell, this one's a little bit tougher. Yours are probably going to be pretty tough because they are machine pressed on when they are manufactured, so it might take a little bit of effort. Don't worry, you're not going to break it. Uh, that, that plastic is soft. It bends but doesn't break. Then we move on to the O-ring, the first set of seals. Just take a uh, flathead screwdriver or, you know, what I'm using there uh, are a set of pliers and just go right underneath and just pop them right open. Next, since I have the set of pliers out, we're going to go straight into the voice diaphragm. You're going to spread this out. There are going to be a couple of notches in the voice diaphragm where you then can press it against. So again, again, you're going to turn it counterclockwise. You only have to turn it, I don't know, maybe about five eighths of the way, and it's going to pop right off. And you can just dump it right out and put those off to the side. Now that we have the force diaphragm out, we're going to move on to the second set of seals. Uh, this has a plastic component that has three prongs, like little buttons that you're going to have to press in and get to remove. As you can tell, uh, I, I'm using the set of pliers. Again, you can use a flat head. You can even use a Phillips head screwdriver here. You just got to press them in and then just pop them out. And do the other side as well. And once once you press the three prongs, it, you're going to see it, it's going to fall down a little bit. Then you can just push down uh, with your finger and take it on out. Next, we're going to move to the face shield frame, the black component that goes around the actual face shield. It connects the face shield and the seal together. Uh, on either side, there is a Phillips uh, bolt nut. So just use a Phillips head screwdriver and turn it lefty loosey to unscrew it. You see, the, the be careful, the uh, nut's going to fall out once you get it all out. Uh, I always like to put the nut and bolt together so that you can, you know, make sure that you don't lose either part of that once you need to put the mask back together. And then we move on to the other side. We're going to remove uh, the second screw there, uh, sorry, uh, bolt. There is a nut bolt on both sides of the mask. Yeah, I put them back together and put them off to the side. Once this is done, um, basically your mask just needs to be kind of taken apart here. It looks like I'm going to the five part harness um, next. On here, there is a clasp and a buckle. You just have to basically line up the two circles on each and just push it towards the frame to pop it right out. Um, it's pretty straightforward, should be easy enough to finish. And then we're going to pop out the uh, mouth and nasal cup there. And finally, we remove the black frame. You got to pull it off a little bit. As you can tell, then the seal kind of pops off. And once you pull this off, you will be done. You will successfully take it apart PD-100 or PD-101 face mask.